Hey everybody, um, today I'm going to be working with some baked beans. I have this huge can of, it's upside down, KFC vegetarian beans. And I've had these and I need to get them used. Um, I just want to show you, whenever I have these big cans and I'm opening them with the can opener, to keep my um, counter from getting marks on it, I put it on a wet rag. And there's a lot of juice in here, so I'm going to go ahead and take some out. Otherwise, I'll be spilling it all over the place. Alright, now I also have some brown sugar here. I did not measure it, and it's, it's a little hard, so I'm going to be pouring some of this juice in there to help soften it up. It'll just help some. I always wanted to get one of those things that you put in your brown sugar to keep it from getting hard, but I just haven't got around to it yet. Alright, I think that's good enough. I'm going to pour that in there. And then I also, let me move this out of the way. And then I also have some blackstrap molasses. I think that was probably about a half a cup of brown sugar I put in there. And I'm going to put maybe, oh, I don't know, between a quarter and a half a cup of the molasses in there as well. Oh, they're looking pretty good. And then I also have, um, this is just four slices of bacon that I had in the freezer that needed to get used, so I fried it up and I'm going to throw that in there. I guess I need to taste it. Hmm. I think it needs a little bit more sugar. So let me get that together and I'll be back. All right, I put about another quarter cup of brown sugar in here. The next ingredient is going to be simple old mustard. And I'm not going to measure that either. I'm just going to squeeze some in and then stir it and taste it. And I guess if you'd like a real tomatoey flavor, you could put some ketchup or some tomato sauce or... Um, any type of tomato product you have, but I think this already has enough tomatoes in it. We're not. Let me see what it says. Does it even have tomatoes in it? Yes, it does. Tomato paste. Alright, let's try another taste test. They're very good. I guess I put maybe, I would say quarter cup of mustard in there. So I'm going to put them into a baking dish, which I have sprayed with olive oil. And I am not going to put all of this um, juice in there. I think it's too much. So let me get these in the pan and I'll bring you back. All right, so there's my beans. They taste really good. I'm going to put them in a 325 degree oven until some of the liquid bakes off. And then I will show you what they look like. So let me go put them in the oven. I'll just go ahead and do that. And then the rest of these beans, um, I have this much left in the can. I decided that I'm going to flavor them with cumin. And I think I'm going to put about a teaspoon of cumin in there to start. And maybe one and a half. And then 
I'm going to go ahead and stir them right in the can, take a taste, and then figure out what I want to do from here. Um, I just needed to use these up, and I really don't want to take the time and do anything fancy. So, hopefully these will be good. Alright, I would say um, I'm going to use a tablespoon of cumin. Taste again. Mmm. Very good. And I have these pans that a friend of mine gave me. So I'm going to throw these in here and bake it off. Actually, I think that's too many for in there. Hmm. If you're going to do it, you may as well make a mess, right? Alright, well, guess what? I have another pan right here. Let's spray it real quick. And then dump these in. And then once these um, bake a little bit, I'm probably just going to stick them in the freezer. So there's a gallon of beans. There's my cumin beans. And this is the juice that I had left over from the baked beans and um, what was left of these. And I think I'm going to freeze that as well. And I'll figure out something else to do with it at another time. I'll use it for some flavoring or something. Maybe I'll just throw it in some soup. Who knows? So, when all these beans are done baking, I will come back and let you see what they look like and do a taste test. I had no recipe for this. This is just a, a, a dump and do type of thing just to get rid of these beans. So, when everything's done, we'll come back. All right. So, um, I let these beans bake for probably about 40 minutes, and I probably should have taken them out at 30. They did get a little dry on top, but there's still liquid in the bottom, and I did taste them. I'll taste them again. Mm. That mustard did the trick. And then I'll show you my other ones. These are the, the ones that I put cumin in. And... I mean, they look dry, but when you look at them, they're really not. Mm. They're going to be excellent with rice. So, there's just a, an easy way to take something very simple, store brand, inexpensive beans, doctor them up a little bit, and make them into something that tastes really good for different uses. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and have a great day.